Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. And today is another custom gun day because I've got another custom gun to show you before we ship it off to one of our customers. And this is it right here. And you can see, uh, well, right off the bat that it um, is pretty cool, very striking looking. And that's the idea is to be different and attractive and functional. And most of all, just something that's custom for our customer. And this particular gun is one such animal. Okay, first things first, we'll drop the magazine, look inside there to make sure the gun is in fact unloaded. And yes, it is unloaded. Pull the trigger in a safe direction. Now we can go ahead and detail this gun. This is a Glock 19 Gen 4 MOS. All right, MOS is the modular optic system. You can see the MOS plate on the top here. See the two screws? This plate will come off and Glock provides uh, additional plates that screw in that allows us to actually attach different optic sights, red dot optics. So there are four plates that come in the kit that come with the gun. And those plates uh, allow you to do either a, an RMR or a Viper or a Burris or an EOTech. I mean, uh, right down the list is uh, basically about every site that is available here um, uh, nowadays is going to be available uh, through that MOS plate option. Now, what's interesting about the plate option, again, is you remove this plate, put another plate in, the sight still sits a little bit higher than if you were to just mill the slide down itself. But, you know, overall, it's a pretty good looking piece and it's a very functional thing because now you have an option, you don't marry yourself to one particular sight. It's really about that plate and being able to uh, uh, switch between sights if you should desire to do so. But that's the MOS concept that's available on different guns. This would be the, uh, the 19 Gen 4 MOS. There's a 17 MOS, Gen 4 17 MOS. And there's also a, a 34 Gen 4 MOS that I'm aware of. There's probably a couple more that I'm not mentioning here. Uh, let's talk about some of the other things or some of the things we have done on this particular firearm. Uh, I guess we'll start here with the frame. Stippling is something we do, and we do it well. This is our basket weave stippling, as you can see. Uh, there's the pattern I'm looking for. And we brought it all the way up on the sides here to kind of match it up. I'll turn around on the back strap here. Let's see if I can get a little bit more light on there. And there we go. That's the strap that we're looking for. Now, even though here on the finger grooves, we've gone ahead and done some stippling in here just to kind of set it off a little bit. Like I said, we brought it up along here. Okay, let's look at some of the pieces and parts we have. Extended checkered magazine release button. That's a Gen 4 button. You can see how it's checkered and how it is extended a little bit more than the factory. It gives you a little bit easier opportunity to manipulate that trigger, or excuse me, that release button uh, without having to adjust your grip, which is very important because uh, when you adjust your grip, you also alter your accuracy. Uh, the other uh, thing to look at are the extended controls. It's actually a, a full-on uh, metallic gold pin kit, extended controls kit, which includes the slide stop lever, which is also known as the slide release, the slide lock lever, which is the takedown button, it's extended precision slide stop lever, and our, uh, our pin kit. And the Gen 4 pin kit comes with four pins, uh, a short pin for the trigger housing and a long pin for the trigger housing, if you were to change that uh, uh, back strap out, and as, as well as the, uh, the two pins that are normal with uh, most of the Glocks. Um, the other thing you'll notice, of course, is the gold barrel. Now this is our double diamond, uh, nine millimeter gold barrel. It's a, it's a barrel that's been coated in titanium nitride. And that's really the best coating for gold for a barrel because it doesn't wear off. It's, it's, it's really bonded to the metal. It's not a Cerakote, not a paint, but it's actually a, a kind of an anodized process if you're familiar with that, uh, that it's, it's actually bonded to the metal and it really retains uh, its uh, color through firing and functioning and handling and all that stuff, but also uh, it has a, a lubrication or lubricity to it that uh, is uh, better than just a stainless steel. So it actually, you know, it cleans up well. It uh, helps the gun uh, function better because there's less friction. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll lock this back. You're gonna notice in the front here, we have a gold tipped tungsten guide rod, or heavy tungsten guide rod, which like, we recommend for all the Glocks because it really helps reduce recoil and felt, uh, felt recoil and, and muzzle flip. Uh, this one, of course, uh, uh, is with the gold tip. It's available with silver and, and black and, and really some other colors now too. 
but you know we like to match up our colors and make it all you know be part of the uh, same family. Uh, the gold barrel is a threaded barrel, and you'll notice this is the hash gold again to match up thread protector. Now. Uh, let me talk about the thread protector really quickly. Uh, just so you know, I mean, uh, you're probably aware of this, but these threads are very delicate and fine, and they actually reside out here on the tip of the gun. So if you're handling the gun without a thread protector and you have a threaded barrel, and you knock this or ding this or touch this to just about anything, you can disturb the thread pitch, which will then make these threads, well, almost useless and you know, probably won't work. But, you know, good machinists can go in there and clean them up, but it does take some effort and some time. And sometimes you really can't clean them up. So we recommend anytime you buy a threaded barrel that you also use the thread protector at all times. Our threaded barrels come with a thread protector. This is an aftermarket version that's in gold and it's got this hash pattern on there, which uh, makes it kind of attractive. So it's kind of neat. Uh, the um, other thing we have is our pyramid trigger. And not to downplay this, but this is probably the best trigger on the marketplace today. And if you'll notice, really two things. One, uh, it's a gold, it's a black and gold. Okay, it does match up. That was you know, pretty obvious. But the, really the key about this trigger is that it's got a shorter stroke and a lighter stroke. And then the reset is very short too, right there. So now I am able to manipulate the trigger faster without disturbing the sight picture because there's not as long a pull and it's not as heavy, so after repeated pulls, my finger doesn't fatigue and I don't start yanking on it, which is what happens. And most accuracy problems uh, really start with the trigger pull. Finally, the last thing I want to show you is some things we do here, and it's something that is getting better and better and better as the technology gets better. We have a laser engraver, and we engraved the Semper Fi, as you can see. And we then not only engraved it, but we also color filled it with gold, and just look at the detail in there on that uh, globe and anchor, aches, as they call it. Pretty darn amazing. What can be done, because it's done by a laser nowadays. Uh, the uh, last and final thing we're going to talk about is the actual slide cut itself and refinish. Uh, this is our Mako cut on a Glock 19 Gen 4. And it's pretty nice. Uh, it, it's, it's cool because what it, this allows us to do is, is have that gold barrel color stick up, which really helps match up and, and really give us a good direction for the rest of the color of the rest of the, of the gun itself. And then we went ahead and, and uh, did a, um, a black Cerakote finish on the outside of the slide. So there it is. It's another beautiful gun here from the Glock Store Performance Custom Shop. And I tell you, we do some wonderful work. And I, I you know, I only get to do probably one-tenth of the guns that fly through here uh, as far as getting the work done uh, and then shipping out to customers. Uh, I try to pick the best ones. Sometimes the other ones escape us. We do take pictures of just about everything. So usually you'll find a lot of different custom uh, of images on our site. If you have a gun concept in mind, that's a good place to start. Go to our website, look around, look at all the different things we've done, get some ideas, and say, I like that, I like that, I like that color, I like the engraving, I like this, da -da 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 -da, I like that hashtag, whatever it is. We are here to help you build a custom Glock of your choice because we actually love building these guns. And I love seeing them come out. So these are pretty cool. This is another custom gun, like I've said. It's a, uh, a Gen 4 19 MOS with a Semper Fi theme in black and gold. I'm Lenny McGill. Hope to hear from you soon. And if you're ever in San Diego, drop by and visit our store. Thanks for watching.